Good morning, boss. Good morning. Today's your last day of easy work. Yeah. Right? It is. And I only have a half a day today. Oh my goodness. Why are you putting oh, the heat on? Because it's cold out. It's 75 degrees. Oh my gosh. Yeah. yeah. Um, the boss only gets a half a day today. Well, I kind of don't have a whole day neither. I mean, I'm just after I drop Rachel off, I'm going to spend all her money. Yeah. He right? is. He At is least a thousand dollars. He is going to spend all our money. So, um, but I'm going to spend some money too. Yes, yeah, she's getting her hair cut finally. And I know. First time in like a year. It has been, I think, a year. And that's so bad. But I need to take some time for myself today, just a couple hours, and get that done. And then tomorrow we have a shortened day too. Oh yeah, um, Paige is, well Paige and Kayla are going to the horse show or whatever it is, in, I think, right? And then Kayla, I mean Paige is actually riding in the show. Yeah, so right? so I'll try to record some of that and hopefully, you know, part of our vlog will be that too since it will be kind of shortened. And I'm going to go out in the afternoon and prune some more of that hedgerow. That, uh, yeah, finish the back us. hedgerow. So a little bit of nothing to then... On a little Monday. bit of nothing. <laughs> so then again on Monday. Monday's the big day, guys. Monday's the big day. But I was telling the boss, now that aeration season is upon us, uh -huh. it looks like there's a 40 to 50% <laughs> chance of rain every single day uh -huh. starting today. Uh-huh. But that's okay. We're going to take it because we'll just work around the rain. Yeah. It's not going to make and the ground too soft. No. I mean, we could so get 10 inches right in one day and it'll still, the ground won't be soft. Yeah. So this is perfect. And we just hope that this weather stays like this because then um, all the money that our clients are putting into their lawns, you know, they'll let Mother Nature will take over a little and they won't have to. And if Mother Nature water. keeps it a little bit above average and the grass starts growing good, we might be mowing a lot more this year. Yeah. Right? Are yeah. you excited? I mean, we definitely are mowing till probably the end of November just to get all the leaves up. Mm -hmm. um, and then we'll see what the weather brings us, you know. Okay, let's show you these ones because yes, I got to have yes. the boss back home by 1.30. Yep, yep. So here are the first two lovely yards. You guys have seen these a million times. Went to seed, so, but this has been 18 days of growth. Um, it should start growing again if we get this rain we're supposed to get. So we'll see. But uh, we'll get them done and then off to the next one. Look, we're done these ones. Rachel's blown off. I got to go weed eat the back of this one. She pulled out the big guns today. I forgot that this had so much power. You pulled out the big I guns. I get yelled at though. Why? Remember? Oh yeah, the neighbor's going to hear that thing going and go like bat crazy. Okay, let me go finish weed eating. So boss, I we're on our next three. The one over here, we're going to meet the client for the first time. We've been mowing it for a couple months now. We've never met them. Yeah. Um, maybe we're going to meet them if they come out and see us. Mm -hmm. But um, so we have three here. That'll be five. And I want to go back and try to do the other two over there. Yeah. So that'll make seven. But um, she changed her message up to say we were only taking aerations. And so far, we've gotten a couple calls for them, right? Mm -hmm. So we'll see how that goes. We already have. I'm pretty sure we're doing about. 55 or 54 right now. I don't even know how these people are finding us. <laughs> yeah, the boss doesn't advertise at all. I guess I just, our in website. the beginning, yeah, our website is awesome. And thank you to Kavini. If you guys need a website and you don't have the time, you know, when we were first in business, I was home. So I had the time to Do be on the website. Post and, on Craigslist every day. Mm -hmm. We did. You know, um, I post it on social media every day. Now it's just, we're so busy that, you know, I don't do that stuff. So Kavini, if you guys remember seeing, and we'll link the video again, I guess. Kavini gave back to us um, because they like that we're happy people. So we really liked that, that fact and yeah. we were very appreciative and they did a wonderful website. Um, so it is getting hits and I haven't even added 
like more description like yeah we've been lazy when we when we get this busy we kind of get lazy on trying to pick up new accounts mm -hmm. not saying you guys should do that by all means don't follow us we're comfortable where we're at right yes now. right and you might get to the point that you get comfortable over time in your business to where you have that steady flow of work to where you don't really have to worry so much about advertising yes so. you will get to that point yeah. oh okay you will get yes to that point. you will get to that just point. keep at it you just have to be very consistent first couple years um, be very consistent in the projects and the quality of work that you're putting out and um, yes you absolutely will get there it will be a point in time where you are also saying I'm sorry we are full for this yes. season just so. keep at it guys we're gonna give mm -hmm. motivational speeches towards the end of the season yes because that's when people end, need them it is because this is that's the when time most where... of your equipment goes down stuff happens flat yeah. tires worn out shoes mm -hmm. you know worn out uh, trimmer heads all that stuff happens towards the end of the year and yeah. we get super busy oil changes probably for a lot of people around now yeah um, so it can get discouraging to have that much cost in one month, but just hustle, add extra projects and prunings, and you'll be fine. Okay, so All we're right. going to get to work yeah. after our little motivational <laughs> chit chat. I think it motivates me too. <laughs> so here's number two, no, number three and four. Not too bad to mow. Not too long. I'm gonna go over there and mow that with the third 48 and then I'll start weed eating all this. But uh so and we're gonna have to spray these beds. Everything else looks good. So let me get going. So Rachel's finishing up there. So we're done six for the day. We didn't do the one over there. No, we met the first client for the first time. But I think I'm taking Rachel back home now, and you guys can come with me to pick up fertilizer. I gotta say, it is hard to believe that any of this stuff is still green in our garden. I am pretty amazed. It hasn't had water. It had an inch of rain in a month. So, but... And we never planted a fall garden, really, just some green beans. Look how rough my yard looks. Right, Rach? Yeah, the yard is looking rough. And we never got any uh, fall crops planted. No. So we don't have the boss with us. We are, we're going up to site one right now. We're gonna go pick up all of our seed yeah. and fertilizer. I already have tenacity to spray enough. Um, I was going to empty the back of the truck out so I didn't have to move this stuff twice, but I don't have time. I didn't get to leave to go to site one until now and it's three o'clock and I got to be back for Chase by four. So 
I'm just gonna load it in a trailer and then we're gonna clean the back of this truck out and then load it back in there. And I can only get 10 bags of seed and 10 bags of fertilizer for now um, because of weight. I don't wanna put too much weight. Um, so I'm gonna get a little bit at a time and not to mention the cost for as much as we need. I think all together we're gonna need 50 bags, 50, 50 pound bags of seed and probably 50, 50 pound bags of um, the fertilizer. So that's a lot of weight. You figure 5,000 pounds, what is it? 50 times 50 is 2,500. So that's 5,000 extra pounds plus the other machines. So we won't, we won't bring all that with us when we go aerate. We'll bring 10, 10 bags of each at a time. So I don't have too much weight. But I'm gonna go ahead and get out there and pick that up because we have to be prepped and ready to go Monday. And the good thing is we're supposed to get a lot of rain in the next few days. And I'm hoping, really, because I'm gonna try to aerate the front of my yard again, the sections that we're gonna um, seed first. I'm gonna go ahead and aerate tonight when I get back and see how that goes. And then we'll plan another section in two weeks and then another section in the first week of November. So as you can see, I got the truck emptied out. I didn't record that and I'll show you what I, ended up I gotta move all this in a perfect world I would have had that emptied out so I could have just loaded everything in the back of the truck but that didn't happen because I didn't have time so I went and got I'll show you everything I got to start off our aerations I got this so we're using a 18 24 12 and then let's go transition seed and any areas that don't have um, that have more shade like under trees we're going to use this but I'm going to get all this into here and then I'm going to re-aerate this part of the yard and section off a third throw some seed and fertilizer down real quick before this uh, rain comes that we're getting we're supposed to get in a minute shower so maybe I'll do that first let me get this aerated so this first section here and then you have another section here and then the third section I kind of ran out of paint a little bit but you can see how dry and bone dry this lawn is. So if you guys see behind me, I have white lines in the grass to mark off each section. You can see the grass is pretty dead, dry, not much left into it. So this section here, the first section here, I'll show you guys. I'm gonna aerate, seed, fertilize, and then if it doesn't rain, I'm gonna spray the tenacity. If it rains, I'm gonna spray it probably tomorrow uh in a break or the or sunday so we're going to do that this week and then we're going to come here probably three weeks later and we're going to seed this which will be i think i'm going to go right after gie and seed this section aerate seed put the fertilizer down and spray it with tenacity then we're going to do the final section here we're going to do the first week in november maybe second week in november same thing spray it fertilize it no matter what the temperature is and seed it we're gonna see how that works out So as you guys can see, I cross core aerated this section. That means going one direction and the other direction. For best results, that's what you wanna offer your clients um, is cross core. I mean, don't do one pass. That's trying to get, I mean, some people do, but it, it's more beneficial to pass, just so you know. So if anybody's out there ready to get it done, make sure that the people you got doing it does a two pass aeration. Watch, I'll show you. 
I'll show you how dry. Ideally, you want to pull. I'm running 400 pounds of pressure, and look how dry the ground is. So it's it's kind of hard to aerate it. It doesn't punch as good. So we'll see what the results are. I mean, it's an inch and a half cores, which is fine, but I'd like it a little bit deeper. But I'm not going to jack that thing up any more in pressure. The seed will get down there. But let's go ahead and fertilize. And so it's the 30 inch Toro aerator. If you guys have a lot of properties that you have to aerate, we have 56 so far this year that we're aerating. I would get one of these, um, rent it. They're about two, 250 to rent for the day. That's what we used to do. Then we have so many to do. I said, why not invest in one of these? A really good investment. So like I said, 56 of them to do with a walk behind aerator. So let me go ahead and seed and fertilize this thing here. And then we'll get some water going on it. So there you go. You see me put the fertilizer down. Um, the setting at, I go a little over 15 on the spreader, the Lesco. I don't know if you're using a different spreader, what you guys would do it on. And we use the 18-24-12 um, from um, Site One. And then I'm using a transition blend seed. And we went back to the Lesco seed because we didn't have as good as rate with germination with the Southern State, I don't think. So this has your Bravo 2 Tall Fescue, Technique Tall Fescue, and Padre 2 Tall Fescue. Go ahead and put that out in the fertilizer then i'm going to get water on it and i'm not going to spray because they said we're supposed to get rain but i'm going to still water it and then i have to load all this up in here because we're starting our aerations i think and i figured out so far with the 54 56 we're doing we need about 40 to 45 bags of seed and about 40 bags of uh fertilizer so and then i need think we're going to be using three three things of tenacity because they each do 96,000 square feet. So I think we have almost 400,000. So I might need four things, but we'll go ahead and get this seed down before it starts raining. Page is training mellow. See? He's pretty good. She's got that dog trained. No leash next to the road. As I said, he'll take off. So, you guys seen I spread it spread this. I reset it again. So I'm safe to say I can probably set it at right there 16, but the um, I still have seed left. So I can safe to say that I'd be able to probably put it on 18 and that'll give me my six pounds per thousand about that I'm putting down. So, I mean, a 50 pound bag should do me 8,000 square feet at six pounds per thousand. So now I'm going to set up the water on this and we'll see how it goes. See how long it takes for this to come back. See if this section ends up nicer than this section or that section, depending on temperature. So at the end, I will, um, when I'm done this whole experiment and then we come back in the next year, well, I'll do it at the end of the season. I'll show you how it progressed to the end of the season, how each section did. And then next year, about after we do our first round of fertilizer, we'll see how it turned out. See if we can get this lawn back in shape. So guys, thanks for watching. Please like, comment, and subscribe. And remember guys, be happy, or at least try.